if you go low, I'm going to go lower every time. So it's like, I think it's a lesbian thing. Oh, sorry. What's up, it's Gio. I'm here with Trashy and let's talk some trash. Hey, what that mean? Uh, what's something you do only when you're home alone? I'd be having like full blown planned out arguments. Like, what if this bitch tell me to do this? Like, I gotta say this back. But then I hate when I actually have the arguments in person and the people don't follow my script. Like, we we did this before. Like, you you not on you not right. <laughs> What are you addicted to right now? <sighs> Fruit Loop snacks. Go to Walmart and get a big ass box of Fruit Loop snacks, the jumbo one though, like the jumbo snacks. They're so good. No milk though. They, they not gummies. They actually like cereal. They just extra large. <laughs> I was the baby sitting once and the baby had them. And I was like, what are they hitting for? Like, they good as hell though, tell you that much. Um, What's a red flag you ignore if the person look good? All of them. I think it's a lesbian thing. We tend to ignore everything as long as I like the person. So it's like, hmm, I'll take the, the, the risk. That's terrible. Uh, the first one, I feel like girls show that they're crazy very early on and I'll just ignore it. Like I had somebody stalk me and find out where I live. And I still fuck with her. Why? Couldn't tell you. No idea. But I don't know. I get threatened all the time too. Like, I'll kill you. Ah. And I still stay. I don't think you should stay. I do though. <laughs> um, what's the meanest thing someone has said to you during an argument? Nothing for real. I be eating these bitches up. Arguing with me is like, you might as well not even. My mouth too quick. If you go low, I might go lower every time. So it's like, I don't even think about what you said for real. I just come back all the time in my head, like just circling around. What's your biggest pet peeve? Scorpios. They the biggest liars. Libra too. We ain't safe. Y'all are my pet peeves. Yep. Yeah, but it's like a love and hate type thing. Like, ew, but I love you. But ew, I hate Leos. Oh my God, I hate Leos. I like Geminis, don't get me wrong, I like Geminis. A lot of people don't like y'all, but I fuck with y'all. How do you get a girl's number? Ah, if I say it's gonna sound so conceited, but I just ask for it. Like literally like, can I have a number? I don't think I've ever gotten enough. Let me not jinx myself. Yeah, this is, this is not wood. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, I just ask. I be like, can I get your number? Or they'll ask for mine. Cause I be doing the little, the little trick where you think about a person and you keep staring at them the whole time and then they end up coming up to you. Bro, I'm telling you, you be in the club, you stare at somebody for more than two times, swear to God, they gonna walk up to you and be like, so what's up? It works. Well, I don't know if it works for everybody, but it works. Yeah, like you can't just stare at a nigga like, for my luck, because I give like masculine vibes, the girls are very like, soft and like, yeah. and they come to me more often. But if I gotta come up to somebody and I'm looking at them, I just be going for it. Cause like from New York, every bitch look the same way. They just be mad as shit. So it's like, if you mad then I'm gonna just walk away. If you're not, then we clicked up now. And it's in the club, like you can't really embarrass me. I'm be like, oh, <laughs> and go to the next person. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't know. Are you still cool with your exes? Yeah, all of them, actually. It caused problems with the new ones, but like, hey, sometimes you gotta have a little fun. I hate all of them, but like, I'm cool with them. Like, y'all cool, I fuck with them. But like, they did me dirty. You feel me? Like, you really did me dirty. I would never get back with you, but like, you cool, you know? If I say this, I'm gonna get canceled. Where is the craziest place we ever had sex? Lord forgive me for what I'm about to say. It was, it was church. I had a, a little girlfriend, I was like 14, 15. My mom used to force me to go to little Bible studies. She didn't want me to be gay, so I had to find ways. Hello. I started learning, reading shit and finding out about church stuff and I was like, I don't even agree with this. Hell am I doing over here? So after that, it was just like, all right, I guess 
I'll come because my mom forced me to. Well, she would never go to church. I think I seen my mom in church like twice, which is super crazy because I was there every Sunday and she would drop me off. Now that I think about it, Monica, you can't even say shit to me no more. See what that means. When did you realize you were over your ex? I don't be realizing until I, I, I'm deep into another relationship. Like, oh damn. Sometimes I'll be mentally checked out before you break up with me. So when you break up with me, I'll be like, oh, hmm, I guess. I would be depressed a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, think about it, you said, but not like crying, boo hoo. But it, it takes me like a week, maybe like three days to shake off this sad feeling. What's up, y'all? It's Gio. I just wrap it up with Trashy. If it ain't trash, then it is trash. Period.